Hello everybody, Levi Clay here and I'm back again to do another honest review. Not a guitar instructional video that you must own, or unfortunately not. What we're going to talk about today is Zach Wilde's Guitar Apprentice Signature Edition. Now, as I say, this is an open and honest review. I purchased this, it wasn't given this, I've not been paid to make this video. One of you wonderful people left a comment on my Facebook page and asked my thoughts on this. Have I checked it out? Because they'd like to know whether it was worth buying. Uh, one of the awesome things about, you know, uh, the Patreon page and things like that is that it allows me to spend money on things like this to give you honest thoughts and things. Um, so I've got lots to say about this and we're going to split it into two sections. The first part is the Zach Wilde content and then the other half is the Guitar Apprentice content. So what is the difference between those two things? Well, let me tell you about this package. This is Zach Wilde's Guitar Apprentice. It includes six DV I'm just reading the back here. It includes six DVDs of instruction taught by Zach Wilde. That's not true. Playing rhythm solo breakdowns and then 15 progressive learning levels per song, uh, tour of the Black Vatican, interviews with Zach and more. So as I say, or as it says, there are six DVDs here and this is technically true. I open it up, you can see three DVD cases, one for Overlord, one for Parade of the Dead, and one for Crazy Horse. Three songs taken from Black Label Society's um, Order of the Black CD. Great CD, well worth checking out. I'll link that in Amazon. You can buy that. That's a great record. Zach back on form there. So, yeah, each one of these cases contains two discs. One disc containing face-to-face -face lessons with Zach Wilde, and then uh, the disc containing the Guitar Apprentice side of things. So first of all, let's address the face-to-face -face lessons. The thing, that's really to me where the value lies with this product. They're not really lessons though. The problem with these is, it's Zach's just showing you how to play the songs. He's not really teaching you anything. He's not teaching you his approach to alternate picking or how he, how he thinks of scale or anything like that. It's, these are the notes I played on this song. Here, you play them. And even then, he doesn't, explain that very well um, in fact here's an example taken from the video where he breaks down the riff to a crazy horse and really he doesn't tell you anything he expects you to watch what he's doing and to be able to pick it up when you're not a great teacher you can it's easy to forget that a great teacher is not the right word experienced teacher is a better word it's easy to forget what it's like to be a learner someone of zach's level of my level or most of the people that watch this channel i'm sure um we can pick things up just by listening or by watching but the beginner student generally needs you to show them things one note at a time and explain what you're doing zach doesn't really do that so check it out the intro you know here here i'm about to play for you right now Obviously, you're using a pinch on my right there. There you go. So that's your uh, that's basically your verse right there. Now, the plus side of these videos is probably where he breaks down the solos to the songs. Now, it's it's always interesting to have Zach's actual ways of doing these things because Zach's playing is notoriously difficult to transcribe in places because of the the kind of rough and ready approach that he uses from time to time so as I say definitely interesting to see what he does especially as there's a great example in here on the, again on the crazy horse solo where he doesn't explain that he's economy picking but you can see very visually that he is economy picking you'd expect Zach you think of Zach as being Mr. Alternate picking but it's a great up close angle of you being able to see him economy picking down up down down up down down up down down up down on an ascending six note pattern again Zach doesn't point that out which is a shame because it's kind of important and if there was PDF transcriptions and tabs and things, you'd see that because you'd see the picking directions. Um, but yeah, as I say, here's an example of Zach just 
demonstrating a lick from one of the solos. Starting over here on the 10th uh, fret. Picking and then doing pull-offs on the way down. After all of this, Zach comes and plays the entire song from start to finish. The sound quality isn't fantastic. Um, it's a visual demonstration, and if you listen closely, you can hear the uh, lead guitar and everything in the background. So he's really just playing over the track. It's a shame he didn't use a good backing track and record everything nicely. <laughs> Side to these face-to-face -face lessons and a real it's a real shame um they're very short very short the crazy horse disc face-to-face -face lessons is about 25 minutes long uh, and the other two run between 30 and 35 minutes so all in all there's about 90 minutes of face-to-face -face lessons with zach now this retails for 50 bucks um i think i paid about 20 pounds for it to me, that's where the value is in these, and value is probably the wrong word. As I uh, think I said earlier, his pentatonic hardcore young guitar DVD is probably a better watch if you want to learn how to play like Zach. This is demonstrations rather than actual teaching. Uh, but, you know, if you want to watch Zach talk and, and play for 90 minutes and you're okay paying £20 for that, that's really what you're spending um, money for on this. It is a bit cheap when on the back of the DVD packaging it says six dvds of instruction taught by zach wild well no he only teaches on three of them um and and here's my big issue you could easily fit those three dvds worth of content onto one dvd this could be a four dvd package it doesn't need to be six it's done that way to give you the impression that you're getting a hell of a lot more than you actually get it's a bit thin on the ground for content and that's um a that's a shame. That's a shame. That is a big shame. Um, but nowhere near as much of a shame as the Guitar Apprentice side of things. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come back on another video where you can see my screen. I'll have some headphones on. And uh, chances are I'm probably going to get quite angry because Guitar Apprentice is fucking stupid. See you there. Okay, so let's take a look at Guitar Apprentice. Now, I should throw this out there. I don't have anything wrong. I don't see anything wrong with looking at new ways of teaching, new ways of learning. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, if, you've, if there is a better system, I'm all for embracing that as a way of demonstrating things to people. But Guitar Apprentice isn't that. It seems what Guitar Apprentice has done is taken uh, video games like Guitar Hero, and tried to make it into something real, kind of like what Rocksmith did. Now, I've got a vlog coming up in the future where I talk about rhythm games. Um, I don't actually hate them the way that most musicians do. I think there's a lot of benefits to them. Um, but this, Guitar Apprentice, there is no benefit to this. This is just generally quite bad. Um, and they're doing their best to push it, and it, it kind of hurts my hurts my brain when on the cover, or the back cover to the DVD, Zach says, uh, the gang at Guitar Apprentice did an amazing job. It's about as thorough and comprehensive a learning tool as you're going to get. I wish I was around when, I uh, wish it was around when I first started playing. Now, I don't buy that. Let's take a look at what uh, is contained here. So, for Crazy Horse, we have one, two, three, four, five sections. Cool. Wannabe, Apprentice, Open a Headliner, and Rock Legend. Now, these are difficulty levels. Wannabe is easy to play, and Rock Legend is, is Zach actually playing. What you have, if I click on... Uh, let's, let's bring up what the Wannabe, the slow version. Ah, okay. So we've got these scrolling screens. Now, you can see that what's happening is you have fretboards coming towards you and on that it shows you the fret that you should be playing and the string that you should be playing it on 
Now, here's a point of contention already. Well, aside from the fact that if you look at the video, it's not Zach playing the guitar, which is... You, you definitely say six DVDs of instruction taught by Zach Wilde, and that's not Zach Wilde. So, the point of contention is that, to me, the fretboard is the wrong way up. This is not the conventional way to display a fretboard like this. I would expect this string up here to be the highest string, the high E string, not the lowest string. So in order for me to be able to use this as a system, I'd have to reprogram the way that I see diagrams, um, which is not going to happen, is it? So that's bloody stupid. Now what happens is the song plays. This is, like I say, a very simplified version of the song. He's literally just playing off beats. And so Zach's guitar part is there, and where these notes are, you're expected to play these notes, the guitar disappears. It has quite a, a weird jarring sound, and I don't like it. Now, being a guitar teacher myself, with considerable experience, um, and qualifications to boot, of course. There is absolutely no benefit in learning the song and it sounding like this. This is not going to help you to play the song because it ha it bears no relation to the actual song. Um, you know, as the song kicks in and you're looking at... Don't get me started on these chord diagrams. You're expected to play more than one note at the same time. So not a great system, and when it comes to the solo... Oh, it's not even playing a solo in the, in the uh, beginner version. So let's jump on now. Hopefully you can see that that in itself is not a great system, but as you start getting into the, the harder versions of these songs... Let's make sure I pick the right one there. Now look at all these notes coming at you. I don't see that as massively helpful. When you crack into the solo... Now what is this? This is silly. You see this note coming towards me, this A. What fret is that on? I have no idea what fret that's on until... I have to make a guess. Until it gets closer to here. Stupid system. Um, and this is also not the solo. This has nothing to do with the solo. You'll also notice that when there where he's done a bend, it gives you the information that that's a full bend here. Surely, surely you'd want that to be displayed on the screen. Surely you would want to know before you do the note this is a bend. Also, it says full bend, but that's not a full bend. What Zach does there is he bends up, releases, and then gradually rebends. So let's get to where this is really, really fucking stupid. When we take a look at Rock Legend difficulty... Now here's where we actually have Zach. And here you're playing the, the full version of the song. Now let's just watch this. Okay. See this riff here? D sharp, D, C, D, C, and then A. Should be an E flat, really. Um, what string is that on? When these notes are flying at you, can you tell what string that is on? See these notes coming up here? Can you tell what strings they're on? No, of course you fucking can't. Because you can't see it and everything's moving at such a speed. How would you learn to do this? How would you learn what these notes are? You'd do it slowly, right? Do you expect me to sit and do that? And try and see what the hell is going on? No, that's stupid. What you want somebody to do is to show you how to play things one note at a time. And it's almost like you can actually do that. In fact, it's almost like you've got three discs actually doing that. 
So what fucking use is this Guitar Apprentice stuff if there's actually somebody showing you how to play this one note at a time? What person looks at this and says, you know what? This is probably an easier way to learn how to play this song than actually have Zach Wilde show me this song one note at a time. I wouldn't say this is particularly egregious at this stage because this riff is quite simple. But as things progress, like there for example, where you're jumping up here and you've got the, oh you're, just look at that, you're, you've got high notes and then low notes. You can't process that. The only way, uh, like the only way this is going to work, is if you learn the song beforehand. You need to learn that you go up to the tenth fret, then the twelfth fret, and then the low open string. You can't read this as a system. You could, but if you're going to put in the time to learn to read music using this system, just learn to read tab, or just learn to read fucking notation. It's not like it doesn't exist. You want to see it get really fucking ridiculous though? Okay. Alright, so as the song progresses. Now, this is actually incorrect because it's suggesting that you play these as a chord, but that's not true. The guitar player is ba da da bo do da do do da. It's not the pitch, but it's the rhythm. You can see Zach literally picking it. Right. You ready for the solo? You ready to see me get actually angry? Solo, huh? Wow. That's fucking helpful, isn't it? In fact, there's a mistake in there. Look at that. See this? A, 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 A. That's not what happens. He plays the note and puts wide vibrato on it. What the fuck is this? It's not a full bend. What is this? This is of no benefit to anyone. <laughs> you see these notes here? There's an A, a C, an A, a C, a D. What order do they fall in? Is the C first? Is the A first? Is the D first? Is that A? Who fucking knows? What a, f what a stupid idea. Who's, who, who did this? Who's to blame for this fucking monstrosity? Like, I can't get my head around whose idea this was. This is such a bad idea. It, it's snake oil. A snake oil. It's presenting you with something that's new. Like, this is a cool way of doing things. Nobody's done this before, therefore it must be good. There's a fucking reason nobody has done this before. The reason nobody has done this before is because it's a fucking terrible idea. And there's no reason to do stupid shit like this. You're presenting this as it's like, like it's some kind of revolutionary way of learning music. And it's not revolutionary at all. I would be very surprised if you have even a 1% of the market of people learning to play guitar using this. Because it's ridiculous. What's wrong with a good old-fashioned guitar profile and a video? What's wrong with Zach showing you everything and then providing your clients, your customers, with a guitar profile that has all of the notation, all of the picking directions, and they can just hit play and they can literally watch watch it the, watch the scroll bar move through the music or if they want they can bring up the, the neck diagram at the bottom and it will show you where to put your fingers like really why on earth would you use this as a system i appreciate it. i'm wearing a guitar pro shirt actually it looks, looks like i'm being paid i'm not obviously um <laughs> what why just why this this is beyond retarded so my thoughts on zach wilde's guitar apprentice instructional content um no no it's not it's not cool i picked it up for 20 pounds for 20 pounds it's cool to have the face-to-face -face Zach wild lessons but just get your hands on pentatonic hardcore the young guitar instructional video like that's that's great that's a classic plus you know zach wears a bowler hat in there um it's nice for some of the behind the scenes footage and like i say just to see zach play but don't convince yourself that you're you're getting six DVDs worth of good content. You're getting lots of padding, lots of shit that you do not need. Let, let's remember, when we look at the Guitar Apprentice stuff, each one of these 
shitty renditions up to the the master version um is done at three different speeds so it's like the jerry donahue video all over again you've got shit at slow speeds it's just no no good to anyone absolutely you you will not find a single fucking person in the world that owns these six dvds and has watched every second of each disc why because most of it is useless to just about anybody with a fucking brain which obviously doesn't include the people that made this pile of shit right i'll leave that at that um, <laughs> huge thank you to my supporters over on Patreon. These guys support me at a $10 tier. And it's thanks to guys like that that when you ask me to do a video on something like this, I can just go out and buy it and, and do it and not have to, uh, well, pirate things <laughs> or, uh, you know, hope that people send me things. And then there's that kind of um, expectation that you're going to give things a good review. I want to give you an honest review. There's an honest review on this. It's, it's not great. Um, yes, yeah, so as I say, these guys support me at a $10 tier, and if you would like to join that list, or join for as little as a dollar and get access to our private patron-only Facebook group, you can do so by clicking that link in the top right, you can subscribe to me by clicking that button in the bottom left, it was left before, and there's two of my videos there and there to check out. Thanks so much for the support, guys. Um, do drop comments in the comments below if you've seen this video, if you think it's worth the money, always interested for the discussion. Peace out, thanks for the support, see you soon, bye!